Hi, it's Jill with Crick Flicks and Happy Saturday. Today what I'm going to be working on is a little bit off the, the normal path of what I do. Um, I've got all my orders caught up and so I am working on a scrapbook, actually a few scrapbooks for a friend of mine's um, baby boy and baby girl. I, I'm trying to play catch up but I kind of work on it between getting my um, orders done um, and so I'm taking advantage this weekend and catching up on first the little girl the little boys I haven't even started yet um, Sydney just turned two so I'm working on her second year hopefully I'll be able to get this done soon and move on um, what I decided to do on these couple pages is I'm going to do a vintage um, theme so what I did is I went on to a Google search and um, did a vintage, a, a search for vintage little girls and I got um, the little heads. I have numerous of the little little heads here and I made them about an inch and a half. I did this again on my Silhouette Cameo. Uh, those of you that ask, have been asking me if I still use my Cricut machines, no I don't. I started selling them. I'm selling all my Cricut and all my cartridges. I am not at the point yet of parting with my licensed cartridges. As soon as I have a free moment, I will put up a list of all the cartridges I have available. And I have one, two, three, four or five machines left. I'm gonna hang on to a couple for my granddaughters. Uh, but at this point, I do not use them anymore because I found that I can use all my Cricut cartridges with my Silhouette Cameo. And there's no need for me to hang on to all of that. It takes up space. And with everything that I have, um, space is one of the things I don't have. Just don't have the room for, I've got probably 300 cartridges. I'm also going to be selling my Imagine, since the limitations on that machine are only, you can only print their cartridges and they no longer make them. So it's kind of a worthless uh, thing for me to hang on to. I'm going to do page one first. The paper that I chose is kind of a, let me see what this came from. I can't remember the pad that I got it off of. Oh, I tell you, I'm out of sorts with my, I don't remember what uh, paper stack I got it off of. But um, I really liked this color, kind of a mint green with a little bit of a floral background or it looked like leaves and tree branches in a di different shade of green. That's what I've decided to use for my background. Um, I just showed you all the little girls. What I found out also on this vintage little girl um, Google search, they did have a shutterfly running through the center of them. So when I did my Silhouette Cameo, I had to manipulate my pieces in order to cover up that they had this, the Shutterfly print right through the center of it. It went through the center on these and I just put a white piece of paper over it. This particular one, let me show you, these all came in frames. And where it said Shutterfly, I just made a rectangle and imposed it over um, the box. and. Then I printed it out all as one, so it printed out solid. I thought these were really cute with the little girls peeking out. This one had two little girls holding. This is the little girl and her baby brother that I'm doing this layout for. This particular one, she had her arm up here. So what I did is I took my X-Acto knife and cut around the arm to make it a space so that I could slide my picture up underneath her arm and let me put her on there slide her under there and there we go and I see a little piece of white that I don't want showing so I'm going to clip it off and there I have her and on the first page what I'm going to do is I took my Martha Stewart punch and this is kind of a it's just a floral punch and I made a border picking up one of the greens in my print paper 
and I'm going to put that kind of, not through the center, but I'm going to bring it up high enough so that when I, oh, and also on this print, I put caught red-handed up there and then just kind of put some buttons on it just, just to give it a little extra. Sometimes when I'm working on these pages and you just throw the die cuts, they're a little, eh, blah. I like them with a little more detail. So I want to put this border, and I'm actually putting it in upside down because I'm going to put the pictures on top of the wide edge. And I suppose I should line this up on my mat so I have it straight. And bottom there, there we go. Hangs off a little bit, so I'm going to clip that. I, don't, I haven't been doing uh, videos on scrapbook pages in a while, but I don't have as much time for scrapbooking as I used to. Um, I'm usually making party decorations. However, since I'm caught up now, and when I do scrapbook, it is really fun. I really enjoy it. I'm going to put her up there and... Also, I made a couple sayings, one for each page, um, the little quotes. I used these pre-bought, pre-packaged um, children's quote. You can get these packages at Michael's. I believe they have them also at Hobby Lobby. However, I don't find as good of selection. Um, so these are made by, I don't know who they're made by. I was all ready to read that, and I don't know. Quote sticker, call quote sticker stacks. Oh, these are die cuts with the view. Then there was another one for Paper Studio. And I like them. They're just a bunch of, of little sayings, and I always put them on cardstock and layer them out to bring in my colors. So I've got her up here, and I can't remember who was going on this frame. I think this one goes on here down here. Um, again, this is, you, even though I've already got the picture attached to it, um, this is a frame with the little girls on each side. And we're going to put that there. And you know what, actually that fits right between there. I don't know if I'm going to put that there or not yet. Let me see. Because I'm going to put a couple more pictures up in here. You know, there is really no rhyme or reason how I lay them out. And I'm going to put some of these little heads on there. I'm just trying to catch some of her random little faces that she's making. What I had my friend do that I'm working on this for um, and this I found to make it a lot easier to stay organized is I made her, when she print out all of her copies of her pictures, I made her put every month in a separate envelope and layer it. So I only take out one month of pictures at a time so I don't get overwhelmed. Um, and not only that, I've in the past gotten pictures mixed up um, and been out of sync wrong months because I start weeding through them and trying to find things that go together. So my recommendation to anybody when they're doing this is sort your pictures out, put them in, in um, legal size envelopes and label them as to the month that you're working on to try and keep everything in order. And I'm going to put another one up there. I love these little vintage girls. I think they are so adorable. There we go. There's that page. Caught red-handed. Again, there's a few buttons up here. Cute as a button down here. This was one frame with these two little girls. There we go. There's page. Let me do the second page. And, you know, I thought I had it laid out how I wanted it, but that went by the wayside. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put these on my mat that's got my grids here because when I line this up, since these are going to be laying next to each other, I want to make sure that my my um, 
piece of this, whatever, my trim border lines up as well. There we go. Perfect. Now we're going to move her. Well, I'm going to kind of leave her there so I can follow what I'm doing. This one had a frame with the little girl peeking behind it. This was the one I just showed you where I had her arm coming out. Um, this was a frame with the little girl peeking out. Oh, I just think they're so cute. I don't know. I really like those. Um, I have to catch up on my grandkids scrapbooking, especially now that I'm going to have five grandkids, and I am so incredibly far behind that um, I'm going to try and take this weekend and at least get something done so that I don't feel as though I'm neglecting my precious gems. Oh, I'm putting that up too high. Let me move that down a little bit. And these frames all came um, in a green frame, and a blue frame, and a pink frame, orange. They were all different colors, and I left them just as they were. I didn't change anything on them because I thought they were adorable as is. So, I am going to go ahead and adhere these. Then on this one, the sign I made says, children are living messages we send in time to a time we will not see. And I'm not real sure that sounds kind of gory, but um, futuristic, I guess. hate to think that way, but it is what it is. Okay, I'm going to put that there, and then I'm going to use these last two by this saying. And this is definitely a little girly girl page. I'm going to show you a couple of the pages that I've done as well. Um, and I hope that you don't mind, but as I am um, designing some of my pages, I'm going to go ahead and, and do some videos on it because not everybody out there wants to do party favors. There are folks out there that love ideas on scrapbooking as well because I know that a lot of you who've made comment comments on my YouTube have also indicated that they're they're scrapbookers and so I'm going to try and do equal time and do some scrapbook pages. There we go and I'm going to bring my camera down and show these close up and then I'm going to move on to This makes it so mad nah, that had to be on. I don't know, I don't like that glare. Uh, maybe if I move it over. Sorry with the handle flying in there. I'm not doing a very good job here. Whoops, Kendall's flowers have now fallen. Good thing she's not here because I guess I would be totally reprimanded. She wants to scrapbook with me today, however, her and her papa and they all went to the farmer's market. They wanted me to go, but it's 55 degrees out, and I said, I, I don't think so. I don't do the cold well. But just to show you a little bit here, close up. And again, these are the ones that came as the frames. And anyway, that's it, and I. Oh, I would, no, I'll show you the next ones on the next video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.